Hi everybody. All right, we're starting off with a little bit of interesting something something. That, uh, that big fiberglass thing you see me playing right, with right there is the snorkel. That is the infamous snorkel, the air intake uh, that sits in front of the number two cylinder. Well, anyway, let's just say I don't want to get into it. We'll, I'll save that for another video. But let's just say that it, mounting that to the to the EFI system is 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 quite a thing, and we'll get into that later. Uh, in this video, uh, you're going to watch me mount the EFII ECUs onto a plate of aluminum that will then be mounted onto the back of the firewall. Now the wiring bundle was designed so that you have to stack these ECUs on top of each other. All right, no big deal. Uh, there's four connectors on the bottom of each box. Each connector is a different style, which I truly appreciate because it keeps me from screwing it up. Uh, but because of that, so now I need to find a place that I can mount it. And the wiring leads that come out of the firewall are not that long. It's maybe, you know, 17 inches. Uh, well, maybe 18. So you, uh, your range is limited. Problem is, the only place on the firewall I can put this and kind of keep it out of the way is uh, at near the very top. Which is fine, I got room and all that, and it's nice because it's in the center, uh, which is where the accessory hatches are now, so I'll be able to get to it, that's not a, that's not a problem. Uh, the problem is, because the fuselage has a big crossbar, a uh, big U-channel crossbar across the top, I have to sort of stand this whole thing off, so you can see, there's the bottom of the boxes, and I, now I'm, I'm, I should also note that I've made spacers, so that as the boxes are stacked on top of each other, I've left about a, a one eighth to three sixteenths gap between them uh, for for air, you know, for cooling. So anyway, so I now I have to stand that whole plate off of the firewall by three quarters of an inch, which isn't too bad. So same thing, it's just nut plates and AN bolts. Of course, the EFI system, uh, each one of those e uh, ECUs has uh, quarter inch holes, so you need AN four bolts. But yeah. All right, so the rest of the video, all you're going to watch me do is try to figure out how to put the ammeter shunt on here. Because I still have to mount the ammeter shunt, and I have to mount the A and L fuse for the alternator. I'm trying to figure out how to put all three of them on there. I can't, uh, so we wind up moving the fuse later. But that's not important, so I've got a lot of q and I want to get through. You can just watch me work on that in the background. Uh, if work on a Mooney, tell me my RV14 building in a room between the engine and the firewall. Uh, yeah, some uh, Sport 2175 was asking about the distance between the firewall and the engine. I would say about 8 inches if you're lucky. I mean, there's, I found plenty of room. Uh, also, my exhaust isn't in as neither are my heat ducts, but that's all much lower. Uh, with the oil filter moved, it's there's a lot of room. Do you have a video explaining why you went with Lycon engine versus other options? Valentino, uh, why did I go with Lycon? Uh, they were local, local-ish. I'd always heard great things about them because they did the work for uh, like Red Bull racing engines. Uh, and I heard that, you know, and plus they have like the O-ring mod, which was really cool. So, you know, innovation is, you know, I chase innovation. Basically, that's, that's it. Let's see, any other questions? Someone had a really good one. Is EFI better than SDS? Okay, so that's a good question. So I'm going with the Fly EFI I system. Is it better than the other main one, which is the SDS system? I don't know. Having flown in neither, it's really just a crapshoot anyway. Uh, the reason I did go with uh, the Fly EFI I system is... Uh, let's see. Well, the main one is that because my engine shop, and this is another reason I went with Lycon, is they're a distributor for this system, and they install it for you. And when they run your engine up, they map your fuel for you. So the ECUs are already set up. I mean, sure, you can tweak them if you if you if you want to, and and I absolutely will if I need to. But I don't have to worry so much about it. You know, it's going to run pretty well out the box, which I appreciate. Plus the uh, interface controller is really cool, and the instructions are pretty clear, so that's why I went with that. All right, so we accomplished really nothing in this video. Well, that's not true. 
ECUs are mounted to their plate. The plate will get mounted to the plane, which uh, you will see later. So, all right, have a good weekend. I uh, will put another video out this weekend. So, see you soon.